This morning's Coffee With is with James Vanderbeek. And a satellite interview is furnished by Viceland. James, welcome to Jay-Z. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? You're doing good. What would Diplo do? So, believe it or not, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of EDM. Diplo's good. Hey, Diplo's real good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are? Cool. Yeah. And uh, it, Yeah, he's, he's amazing. And he's, Diplo is the executive producer of this, and you're basically playing yeah, he, him. Why isn't he playing him? I, well, he's a busy guy. He's busy making a lot more money than I make every day, uh, <laughs> playing in venues all over the world and producing. And uh, it's much more efficient to have an actor just simply play a fictional version of you on TV. Okay, now let me ask you this. Is it weird when you talk to him? Is, I mean, you're, you, add, you add your own specific talent. You're an actor to making Diplo Diplo. Is it weird talking to him? Well, I'm also, more than an actor, I'm also kind of a clown trapped in a leading man's body. So, um, yeah, we play a really weird, bizarre, whacked out version of Diplo. Um, <laughs> it does get weird when I start to imitate him while I'm talking to him about the show. <laughs> I kind of start going into his voice. So I'm doing an impersonation of Diplo right to him. That gets a little awkward sometimes. Um, but, uh, you know, he's... He's just really allergic to taking himself too seriously. Um, the one thing he said before we started this whole thing was, you know, just make, just make this guy look completely ridiculous. Um, he gave his carte blanche to just go off and, and just do this weird, whacked out experiment um, on Viceland, which is his brand new uh, channel. It's, um, it's the first scripted show. There's no template. There's no box that we had to fit into and you know part of the whole thing about electronic music and DJ culture is that it can get very cheesy and very self-important very quickly and Diplo was really on guard against that so I think this whole show was maybe just kind of a way of, uh, of kind of just taking the piss out of himself a little bit. So how fictional is it or how real is it you know if we watch it will we walk away thinking now I know who Diplo is or not at all? Um, you know, we took, we took little building blocks of truth. Um, we took the musical genius part. That's true. Um, I took some of the charm from him, I think, in, in the character. He's actually a very kind of charming guy. Um, then we made him you know, selectively stupid about many things, personal relationships being one, basic vocabulary being another, <laughs> um, the difference between reality and his imagination <laughs> and being able to tell that difference, that's another blind spot we gave him. Um, you know, it's, uh, we made some fake backstories for, for some of these songs. It was really just a question in the writer's room as we were writing it was just, you know, what's funniest? What's, what have we not seen before? And, uh, and, and what, what, do we, what do we like? You know, I was just sitting there watching the clip, and I was sitting there thinking, the way it looked, it reminded me of The Office, or Curb Your Enthusiasm, or is it very much its, it, it would look and feel its own thing? I really, you know, it's a very good question. Everybody wants to hear what is it? Is it a cross between like Spinal Tap and, you know, Veep? I mean, you know, Rolling Stone called it the Veep of EDM culture, which is about the biggest compliment I think we could have possibly asked for. Um, you know, the, the, I think the clip you're watching right now is the one, we took a different swing every episode. We really just experimented with storytelling devices, with tone. The, the clip you're watching right now is, uh, we did a, uh, a documentary parody. So that particular episode was mock documentary, which is what The Office is. But the rest of them are kind of more straightforward narrative storytelling so your basic uh, single camera comedy but also with this weird um, music element so we reserved the right to go into slow motion music video for any reason if we thought that could uh, that could get us closer to the truth what we pitched to Viceland to Spike Jones who's their uh, kind of creative director were uh, parables about life through the eyes of a clown so in the writers room we'd have some very deep long philosophical discussions about life, its meaning. We try to figure out the truth as best we could, and then we would just layer stupidity and ridiculousness on top of that. that next, was time, our recipe. next time you meet Diplo, you got to get a dead mouse head and walk in wearing it. You just, you just got to uh, That might be a little weird. It would be, oh, it <laughs> that would. That might uh, be a little weird. Believe me, it would, it would, it would, but it would be an episode that would write itself at the moment. I guarantee it.
All right. Cool. <laughs> it probably would. Oh, you, it would be. You didn't, and they have cameras rolling. That would be the best part of it. All right, man. What would Dibbler do on Viceland? That would, yeah. James, our time, they're, uh, they're giving us the wrap. Our time's run short. It's always great talking to you. Have, have a ton of fun doing this show. Have a great time. Thanks, James. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We'll see you later. Congratulations. Bye-bye.